when I'm working in AutoCAD, I'm often working with large objects that are drawn at their actual size. Or sometimes I'm working with three-dimensional objects and I need to be able to control the view and how I look at them in 3D space. AutoCAD gives us some tools for dealing with our display views that we see in the drawing window. If I look here on the ribbon I have a tab for view and on this ribbon there are some panels for navigating in 2D drawings, uh, a panel for views and for visual styles uh, which controls our views in 3D and viewports which we will use for creating viewports in paper space on our layouts. So we're mainly going to concern ourselves with 2D navigation for right now and tools such as pan and zoom and you can see there's a flyout that shows me that I have several different types of zooms that I can do to magnify the view of the drawing. Because we use the view command so often when we're working, AutoCAD has provided inside the drawing window some quick access to our display or view commands. We have the in canvas viewport control. We also have access to the view cube and the navigation bar. Right now we're looking at the tools that we would use to, to control the viewer display in 2D drawing rather than 3D. So of the tools that are available in the drawing window, my in-canvas viewport display, you see a line over here on the left. If you left click on that, you can see that you can control the visibility of these other tools. The view cube is mainly used for 3D drawing, so I'm going to turn it off. The navigation bar is transparent. When you move over it with your mouse, you can see the tools that are available. Of the tools, the two that I would use the most in 2D drawing are Pan and Zoom, the same ones that we saw on the View tab of my ribbon. The Zoom also has a flyout that shows me all of the options that I have for my Zoom command. By having it here on the navigation bar, it makes these tools more easily available without having to change tabs while I'm drawing.